Hansel and Grethel sat down by the fire, and when it was noon, each ate the piece of bread, and, because they could hear the blows of an axe, they thought their father was near but it was not an axe, but a branch which he had bound to a withered tree, so, as to be blown to, and hurled by the wind. They waited so long that at last their eyes closed from weariness, and they fell fast asleep. When they awoke, it was quite dark, and Grethel began to cry, How shall we get out of the wood? But Hansel tried to comfort her by saying, Wait a little while, till the moon rises, and then we will quickly find a way. The moon soon shone forth, and Hansel, taking his sister's hand, followed the pebbles which glittered like new coin silver pieces, and showed them the path. All night long they walked on, and as day broke they came to their father's house. They knocked at the door, and when the wife opened it, and saw Hansel and Grethel, she exclaimed, You wicked children! Why did you sleep so long in the wood? We thought you were never coming home again. But their father was very glad for it had grieved his heart to leave them all alone. Not long afterward there was again great scarcity in every corner of the land, and one night the children overheard their stepmother saying to their father, Everything is again consumed, we have only half a loaf left, and then the song has ended the children must be sent away. We will take them deeper into the wood, so that they may not find the way out again, it is the only means of escape for us. But her husband felt heavy at heart, and thought, it were better to share the last crust with the children. His wife, however, would listen to nothing, that he said, and scolded, and reproached him without end. He who says A must say B too, and he who consents the first time must also the second. The children, however, had heard the conversation, as they lay awake. And as soon as the old people went to sleep Hansel got up, intending to pick up some pebbles, as before, but the wife had locked the door, so that he could not get out. Nevertheless, he comforted Grethel, saying, Do not cry, sleep in quiet, the good God will not forsake us. Early in the morning the stepmother came, and pulled them out of bed, and gave them each a slice of bread which was still smaller than the former piece. On the way, Hansel broke his in his pocket, and, stooping every now and then, dropped a crumb upon the path. Hansel, why do you stop, and look about? Said the father, keep in the path. I am looking at my little dove, answered Hansel, nodding a goodbye to me simpleton. Said the wife, that is no dove, but only the sun shining on the chimney but Hansel still kept dropping crumbs as he went along. The mother led the children deep into the wood, where they had never been before, and there making an immense fire, she said to them, Sit. Down he ran dressed, and when you feel tired you can sleep for a little while. We are going into the forest to Hewood, and in the evening. When we are ready, we will come and fetch you. When noon came Grethel shared her bread with Hansel, who had strewn his on the path. Then they went to sleep, but the evening arrived, and no one came to visit the poor children, and in the dark night they awoke, and Hansel comforted his sister, by saying, Only wait, Grethel, till the moon comes out, then we shall see the crumbs of bread which I have dropped, and they will show us the way home. The moon shone, and they got up but they could not see any crumbs, for the thousands of birds which had been flying about in the woods and fields had picked them all up. Hansel kept saying to Grethel, we will soon find a way, but they did not, and they walked the whole night long, and the next day, but still they did not come out of the wood, and they got so hungry, for they had nothing to eat but the berries which they found upon the bushes. Soon they got so tired that they could not drag themselves along, so they lay down under a tree, and went to sleep. 